Oh, look at this. And we'll have, uh, perhaps we'll have a rock, a couple of rocks here. And um, so we'll have a, a rock, um, yeah, there. I'm just getting a, a rough shape in here. And all I'm doing is I'm pushing the pigment around, just like you would spread butter on toast. It's exactly the same action. You put the knife down, you flat, and you lean it forward, and you go push. And it goes... Um, and then I'll get my... Just sponge this back out, because while it's wet, you see, you can take it off. Okay, and... Um, the, um, in fact, I'll, well, I'll fill this in a bit more. There we are. And uh, perhaps we'll uh, put a, a couple of waves here as well, you know. And, uh, and then. <coughs> Perhaps you'll mix some few other colours here, and um, perhaps you'll mix that um, Windsor blue with a, a little bit of um, permanent rose. I think uh, that would be a better colour. Oops, too much blue on here. You haven't got to be afraid to waste paint, and and this one, one of the, I think probably the biggest thing I sell is courage when I'm when I'm teaching painting. Because, um, you, know, you know, you get left this box of paints by great, great uncle Fred, you know, and, um, and, uh, and you're trying to keep them for great, great grandson Jimmy. And, and, and this box is going from generation, and no one ever uses it. So you have to uh, think about uh, that, you know. Perhaps we'll change colour a bit, you know. Put a bit of yellow in it. Perhaps we put a bit of red in it. Ooh, look at this. And, um, I think a lot of painters too, they, they get very concerned that they get exactly the right colour. Well, you're only going to get the cl a cloud to go over the sun and then all the colours change anyway. So um, you really want to put the colours that, that suit you, you know. And, um, you see, I, I can also um, have a second shot of this, you see, and um, by having, um, by getting my razor blade and, um, and saying, well, okay, I can, you know, can, I can do it again, you see. One of the things you've got to remember when you're doing rocks is that um, you... I mean, in fact, the first time anybody does rocks, they do them all the same size. And they look like a pile of bricks. So you have to... Um, if you have a big rock, you want a little rock. If you've got one going that way, you want one going this way. If you have a round one, you want a square one. And, uh, you know, everything... You need to constantly surprise your viewer. Right, um, and then when he goes into the art gallery, uh, he sees about fifty to hundred paintings in front of him. How does he know which one to stop at? Well, it's the ones that got the best shapes of tone and colour. At that stage, he doesn't even know it's a seascape or a flower painting, but that's the one he stops at. <clears throat> and, it, and if he doesn't stop past, he walks straight past. He won't come back. So, um, and. Um, so anyway, we can um, maybe we can shape this a little bit more. You know, I don't know, but 
put some cracks in it, I don't know. And uh, so, um, I think we will now put a little bit more tone in this. And, um, and uh, maybe just to, no, it wants to be a bit bluer than that. And see, I, I have control over the sunlight because um, sunlight is proportional to the tonal jump between light and dark. So I could, um, if, I, if I made that darker there, you see that there's more light comes on the rock now. Okay. And I can change the shape of the rock, I can do that, can't I? And, and, um, and, uh, Put a couple of fishes in it, you know, and and um, and, uh, and of course, the darker I make it down here, the the more light will come on the waves. You see, ooh, too much, too much, too much. Put a bit more in there, and uh, and when I get my sponge, I can. Um, I can uh, yeah. oh I know, I know what it is it won't work unless you say whoosh right <laughs> so whoosh <laughs> and, it's, and, you, and you, 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 you're, you're in amongst the picture you see and, um, and, um, So we can put a bit more, um, perhaps a bit more shadow on here. And, um, perhaps take that up there a bit, and, uh, right up to that edge. I think there we are, and. Uh, and we need a shape which is um, the left isn't the same as the right, the top isn't the same as the bottom, so it is not a predictable shape. And um, we can perhaps put a, take this down to here now. And, um, and, um, um, and perhaps put another rock. And. Um, And then think about the shape. Um, change color. If you don't, if you get stuck in the, in the middle of a picture, there's one surefire way to um, to get it right, and that's to change color. Because when you change color, panic sets in, and um, and when panic sets in, the adrenaline runs. And when the adrenaline runs, the brain goes to your, the blood goes to your head, and um, and you say.